All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a battery pack using these uh, $7 uh, Samsung 26F packs that are being sold on Jack 35, right? Uh, these are very, very easy to make into a bigger pack that then you can use on 24 volts, on 48, and today I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get going. All right, so step one, you gotta buy uh, a few of these, right? You gotta buy at least seven of these if you wanna make a 24 volt pack or 14, 13 or 14 of these if you wanna make 48 volt packs, right? Depending on what you're trying to power, that's gonna determine what voltage you wanna do, right? So to, today we're going to make a 13S, right? 48 volt 13S pack, because that's the BMS that I have for this. So let's build this. First, you start by taking these apart. Unfortunately, you can use them as they are because they have a really small and weak BMS in here, right? So in order for you to push any considerable amount of power, then what you have to do is you have to break them apart. And breaking them apart, it's very, easy all you have to do is just cut this uh blue shrink tube all you do is just start it like that right and then the rest becomes a lot easier next you do the inner one And then you do the final one. These things are very well protected. They have they have three layers of this stuff. And finally, the final layer. right and you finally end up with a pack like this next you'll have to take off this uh, BMS unit here and that's simple you just cut it that one there and then you cut the other one over here on this side then you cut this one on the other side here all right and now you have a pack uh, I would leave this thing here hanging because that is going to help you tie it onto the next one. Right, so now you repeat that process 12 more times. All right, now that you have them all like this, what you're gonna do is you gotta check the voltage on all of them this all have to be at the same voltage and I'm gonna check them and I'm gonna write on here what the voltage is all right, here we go now that we have all the voltages you can see that they're not exactly the same, right? And most of them are a bit low. So here we go, the first one, 363, 263, 259, 257, 4.1. This one's actually fully charged. I should probably remove that one. Uh, 248, 226, 2.52, 2.28, 2.51, 2.28, 2.45. 2.66 2.58 okay so they're all about two and a half volts or somewhere around there right except oh for this one uh what i want to do is i would want to hook them up together and charge them so they're all exactly the same voltage let's do that now all right here we go now this is all connected in uh, parallel right so positive to positive to positive to positive and on the other side is the negative so all these packs 
are there. Let's check what the voltage is. Oh, look at that. So they'll average about three volts, right? Uh, because there was one that was like 3.6. So the, that one's charging all the other ones that are, were at two point two and a half volts, right? So right now there's a little bit of transfer of uh, energy there, but we're going to charge them. Let's charge them all to f around four volts and then uh, maybe 4.2 all the way up and then we can take it apart and then put it together as a pack all right so i just realized that this is essentially a 200 amp hour battery and at 25 amps that i'm charging uh, that's gonna take about 10 hours so we're it's okay at the bottom we were all of these batteries were at the bottom uh, and then we raised them up to 3.8 volts right it's been over an hour uh, almost an hour and a half and it's put 42 amp hours in the, in the pack so all this battery pack now it's at 3.8 volts that's good enough they're all exactly the same voltage uh, let's put this battery together and then we'll charge it once it's put together on its 48 volt uh, version right so there you go So here we go. Here it is. A 13S battery. 13S 6P, right? I just basically used the same uh, strips that it had there. And then I just welded them uh, or soldered them to the next one, right? So this pack came about together pretty quick in about an hour. And you have a 13S. The next step is going to be to put the BMS. Uh... Then we will have to cover this, right? So that there's no chance of it, you know, shorting out. Let's do that now. All right, so here we go. I just finished wiring the BMS. This uh, BMS is gonna go here, because this is battery negative, and the battery negative is right here. So it just fits to put a little cable, and then here's the, and then these, uh, well, it'll just be right there and so then it just branches off to the sides there Right, so there we go. It's pretty much wired How it needs to be now. I'm just gonna cover it with tape Well, I might do the the, the cable here and then put a uh, XT 90 on this battery. Let's do that now. There we go. I just mm -hmm. installed all the cables the BMS with the wires and uh, the XT90 so there we go that is a 48 volt e-bike battery well I mean you could use it for anything but this is a perfect e-bike battery there this is a 15.6 uh, amp hour 48 volt battery that is about 750 watt hours uh, of battery and you could make this for well about 91 dollars there you go it takes about two three hours to assemble uh and uh well and some captain tape and a bms and you're ready to roll you're ready to go all right i i hope you guys found this uh video useful and we'll see you guys on the next one all right bye all right so we got the lift dialed in and running there we go we have our bus over here on top our bug on the bottom and we have our other buses over there this is gonna really really help me uh well
convert electric cars, right? I have access to the motor over here. This is a future electric bus here. We're gonna yank that motor out and uh, we're gonna put some Tesla Model 3 batteries in here, all the way to the front over there. Yeah. So there we go. The lift is operational. It's about time. It was, this was taking a long time, but there we go.